Hey guys, Technocration here, and today we're going to be discussing the £600 AMD Gaming PC Build Guide. Let's get to it. So right off the bat, we're going to be using an AMD FX8350 8-core 4 GHz CPU. It's a great CPU. It's currently got a really great price for £125. For an 8 core, yes an 8 core, this is going to be great, it supports overclocking to up to 4.7 gigahertz or however much you can get it to and it works with Mantle which is great for the video card we're going to be getting soon. So if we're overclocking this AMD CPU, we're going to need a CPU cooler. So I've chosen the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. This is a great reliable CPU heatsink and fan, really really quiet and I highly recommend this if you're overclocking instead of sticking with the stock heat fan. And this sets you back £25. So to support the CPU and the heatsink, we're going to be using the Gigabyte GA 970A DS3P 80X AM3 Plus motherboard. It's a great motherboard, really reliable, SATA 3, loads of PCI ports because it's an ATX board. Very, very big, lots of expandability, supports loads of memory, four slots for RAM, really, really great price as well at £48. So for memory, we're going to be using the Kingston Fury series, one 8GB stick of DDR3 memory. This is great memory, really reliable, looks excellent, especially in this red and black build, and it's really, really reliable. Now, the reason I've chosen one stick of 8GB instead of two sticks of 4GB is for expandability. So later, you may want to add in another stick of 8GB to bring it up to 16GB, or another three sticks to bring it up to 32GB, because this is all supported by the four slots for RAM in the Gigabyte motherboard. So next, we're going to move on to storage. We're going to be using the Seagate Barracuda 1TB 7200RPM hard drive. This is a great hard drive, competes with the WD Black. They're both the same, same, same RPM, 7200RPM, and you can get them both at 1TB capacities, even more if you want to. Now the Seagate Barracuda is slightly cheaper, they're both really reliable. The Seagate Barracuda comes in at £35 and the WD Black 1TB comes in at around 50 to 60 pounds. So for the graphics card, we're gonna be throwing in a Gigabyte R9 280. This is a really great three Gigabyte Windforce edition graphics card. Really reliable, great cooler on it, and it looks really, really good. So this is going to support Mantle as it's AMD based as well, and it's got a great amount of GDDR in it so you can be playing loads of great games at high on 1080p and maybe even bump it up to sort of medium on 4k if you really wanted to. Now the Gigabyte Windforce R9 280 comes in at a great price of £144. This is really really good, great value especially for a 280. I highly recommend this graphics card if you're going down for this build. Now for power, again, we're going to be using the Corsair 500 watt ATX 12V. This is a great power supply, it will provide enough power to house all our components. We're hitting it at the sweet spot because it's um, running to about 50 to 80% usage, which is a really, really good efficiency for a power supply. And it's going to leave plenty of space for upgradability in the future if you want to add those extra memory or more case fans or things like that. So this is a great power supply, really, really reliable, highly recommend it. It's 80 plus rated, which is really, really good. And it comes in at a really good price of 37 pounds. So to house all of these amazing components, we're gonna be using the BitPhoenix Comrade ATX Mid Tower. It's a great case, really, really good. Loads of, loads of slots for hard drives and SSDs if you want to. Really, really good. Loads of options for case fans and things, and it looks really, really nice. And you can go for the windowed version as well to show off all your components. So now we can move on to the optional things. So the first one is the OS. We're gonna be using Windows 8.1 in this build, the OEM version. It's a great, great price currently at £71. Um, and if you already have this lying about, you don't need to add this to your price. You can just flick it on this PC as well. Now, when you're overclocking it, you're really, really going to need some cooling, especially more than just the CPU cooler and the stock cooler on the graphics card. You're going to need to start throwing in some face case fans because the case currently only comes in with one fan. So we're going to be using two Leaper LP CP12NRs. 
These are great 120 millimeter fans and they come in a great price. They're really, really low, uh, low noise and they come in at £3.23. So overall, the system will run you back at about £585 with optionals included. So that gives you a little bit of budget, about £15 to maybe upgrade with more fans or something um, if you want it, if your budget is £600 on the dot. Or you can just save that £15 for sweets or something, I don't know, or games. Um, so the system's really, really great. So if you want to see me build this computer, do build logs and maybe installing um, OSX on it as a Hackintosh, please be sure to support me on Patreon. It really, really, really helps. Donate down below. I've got a little fundraising project for this PC and I'll be doing a complete build guide, everything you need to know about it. Also, if you want to, feel, want to support me in other ways other than just donating, if you're going to shop through Amazon, be sure to use my affiliate link, bookmark it or something. It costs you no extra and it really really helps to support the channel as well if you enjoyed this video like share and subscribe thank you very much and i'll catch you in the next one